this is JP Tech here, and today we'll be doing an unboxing video of the Logitech Z323 speaker system. And as you can see here, I have it in front of me in this box. And as you will spin around, this is where it gives you all the like specifications. It's RMS 30 watts, and with a max output of 60 watts. The subwoofer is 18 watts. And the two satellites are 6 watts and all kind of stuff like that. It has a headphone jack, RCA input, 3.5 millimeter input, all that kind of stuff. And it has the volume control right on the right channel speaker. This side just gives you some more stuff about it. And this side just tells you it has 360 degree sound and shows not a picture of it. So without further ado, we will get into the unboxing part where I will grab my scissor and we will cut the seal and get into the box open. Let's see what we have inside. So we have, as you can see, a quick start guide for the Logitech speaker system Z323. We don't need that because I know how to use speakers. And we have right here, let's see what we have in here. We have a Looks like there's a sub over there. So let me just set this down for a second. Grab this box out. Alright. First off, we have this box right here. And I'm guessing these are the two satellites, but we'll just have to see. Um Okay. So how do we open the box? Here we go. So we open the box and inside we have our two satellite speakers and what we are going to do now is we're going to take these out and here we go we got the we have the left channel speaker right here and we have the right one right there so here's the right and here's the left let me see so let's open the left one here first um okay so we take out the plastic wrap here and we'll put that in the box. And I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a jump cut here to want to get all this plastic unwrapped because we don't need to see that. So I'll be right back. All right. So now we have the plastic off. You just have to peel this off, which is kind of fun to do. All right. There we go. And there we go. So now they are fully exposed. And. Now that we have these two done, we'll just kind of have a look at them. This is the right, whoops, I got in the light. Uh, this is the right channel speaker. It has a port right here, a driver on the front, and a driver on the back for the full 60 degree, 360 degree sound. It has a 3.5 millimeter aux cable and a uh, connector that is Logitech to connect to the subwoofer. And on the left hand channel, we have just one connector that goes just an RCA connector that'll connect up with the rest of them. Oh, and also on the side of here, I forgot to mention, it has a aux in and a headphone jack, which is really nice. So now we'll get into getting that subwoofer out. So if we move over here, what's left in the box is we have the subwoofer right here, which I will grab out and set right here. And as you can see, the power cord is right there. Box is now empty, put that on the floor. And now you can see that I also need to take this or the plastic off of this, so I will be right back. All right, so here we go. We got the Logitech Z323 sub here, and the port is covered up by this little piece of plastic. We'll take that off. So if we do a walk around around the sub, you can see the Logitech name on the bottom, a port in the front, a front ported sub, and it has power cable in the back, and on the back of it for controls, we have the base knob right here, or volume. I think that must be, oh, ba yep, base volume. We have an auxiliary input for RCA cables. We have the left speaker input on RCA. We have the right speaker on that kind of connector. And we have the power cable. And if you look at the bottom of the unit, that is actually where the four inch driver is. I believe it's four inch. I don't, don't count me on that, but looks to be a four inch driver. So now we will, <laughs> I will get this set up and I'll be back to you once I get everything connected. So as you can see now we have all the stuff lined up here and we are going to connect this right speaker by screwing in these little pegs to hold the cable in there. We're going to start off by doing that. 
Then we are going to um, plug the left speaker using this yellow cable into this yellow here. And let's see, we'll plug that in. And then we're gonna take a 3.5 millimeter aux cable and I'm going to plug it into my phone. All right, so now we got it all hooked together. So now we'll do a little sound test. Volume at 50%. Turn the bass to 50% as well. I've been riding with my squad. I got diamonds in my jaw. Yeah, I'm smiling through your fog. Oh, and I just want me up. I got shorties from my city trying to see what I've been on. I got shorties from my city trying to see what I've been on. Okay, I've been in my bag. Please don't touch my wrath. Larry Bird strokes, so you know I. So after, listen, so after listening to the Logitech Z23 speakers, I would have to say they don't sound horrible. I got picked them up for only around $40. They're on sale. So for that, they're not bad. The subwoofer kind of makes kind of a weird rattling sound. I don't know if that's just mine or if that's a thing with these. But that would be my only complaint. The satellites sound pretty clear and everything like that. I mean, of course, it's only a very small subwoofer. You can't expect much, but... Just seems to be quite a little bit of a rattling sound. I'm not sure if there's a screw loose or something, but I'll look into it. But overall, very decent speaker system. You get music playing toward the back, toward the front. You get that 360 degree sound. Very nice looking speaker system too. I mean, it's got that nice glossy black on the satellites and everything. So I would definitely recommend you pick it up. I mean, other than that little problem with the subwoofer that I see, it's a wonderful system and it's definitely worth it.